What's up, sons? It's Blackout with Sava Tech once again, and today we're going to be going over installing and configuring HiveOS for your mining rig, so stick around. Welcome back. So HiveOS is another Linux distribution not that dissimilar from SMOS in the fact that you're essentially going to be able to install it on a USB drive, configure it and boot it up as a live Linux distribution and start mining right away while configuring it through a web GUI or a remote session such as VNC or PuTTY. Now this is all stuff we're going to talk about here shortly but let's go over some of the caveats here. So the positive for HiveOS is that if you have less than four rigs, so up to three rigs, on HiveOS you don't have to pay anything which is awesome because for the hobbyist miner it's a great way to get in and get started. The downside however is that there's no support for Vega as of yet. So if you're looking for a Vega distribution then you're going to be stuck with SMOS. You know, SMOS is going to cost you $2 per rig per month. So this is kind of just the give and takes between the two distributions. Without further ado, let's get into installing and configuring. Alrighty, so we're going to be heading to HiveOS.farm and scrolling down and finding the download Hive button. Now you'll see that there's an HDD raw copy portable. I'm going to recommend downloading this as well as the latest version of HiveOS in the zip form, so not the torrent format. And then once you have all those downloaded, we're just going to open the downloads folder and I have it already prepped here. Right click HiveOS. Highlight Extract All if you have the built-in Windows 10 or Highlight 7-Zip if you have that installed and Extract Files here. You'll notice that you'll have now a disk image file and this is the file we're going to be targeting. The next thing you're going to need to do is plug in a USB stick. And so once you have the disk plugged in, just double click HDD Raw Copy and the first section is going to be the image. So double click File and then click your Downloads folder and highlight the Hive image. Click Open. I already have it open in another one. One second. Click Open and then click Continue. On the next page is going to be the device that you're going to select to mask the image to and then click continue again and then click start. Acknowledge that the entire drive will be erased and you're on your way to burning the image to a USB drive. Once it completes unplug it and plug it into your miner and go ahead and get ready to boot it up. The caveat that I found for this particular distro is that it requires you to plug the display out from the graphics card plugged into a by 16 slot on your motherboard. Now you can still be using a riser coming off of that by 16 slot, but that's what it uses. I'm assuming this is because this, this particular distribution does have a GUI. Now I'm not too hot on that. That's something I would count as kind of a negative because I prefer to just have the iGPU enabled and not be, you know, using any unnecessary graphics horsepower running a GUI. So once you have gone through all of that and then you've got it plugged up and you're getting ready to go, you'll have to come in and create an account. You can just click register and get all registered up. Once you've registered, you will be able to click your rigs list and this will be the GUI you will see. You'll have a tab for rigs, wallets, and overclock. The first one you're going to want to configure is going to be wallets. So highlight wallets and then click the add button. Here's where you will enter in all of your information. You have an Ethereum type address and then you have a, of course, a Zec type address. This can be anything like even BTCZ or Z Classic, etc. And then you have a D wallet, which is going to be for the Claymore dual miner. So if you're wanting to add uh, anything else other than the Ethereum or Zcash wallets or Equihash wallets, then you'd want to use the D wallet. So once you've done that, if you scroll down, you can also select the miner you're going to use. I created one for Zec, E-W-E-F. You'll enter your wallet address into here and the worker template. You can click information to get the exact template to copy. So you're just going to pretty much follow that template and put it in here. Then you'll have your pool server, your port number, your password, and extra config arguments. 
You can also select an overclock profile if you've already created one, but we'll cover overclocking in this in a separate video. So once you have that created, you can now go back over to the Rigs tab and add your rig. For this example, you're gonna once again click the Add button, name your rig, describe your rig if you wish, but it's not necessary. You can also add the number of GPUs, and then you can also select which miner you're gonna use for this particular rig. So if I'm using Claymore, I'll select Claymore. And then you can select the wallet that you just previously created. And you can create a password for sending stats. You can auto-generate, which is what I recommend doing. Or for the example, we used Miner1. And it does require that you have a letter and a number. And I'm just letting you guys know that we used Viner 1 over here for this test setup, which I will now have to obviously change after this video. But for demonstration purposes, this is how we have it set up. So once you have this all configured, you can boot to the live USB on your system by plugging it in and powering it on. Initially, what it's going to have come up is it's going to come up and run and then it's going to request your rig ID number. You can get your rig ID number by going to your hiveos.farm, clicking rigs, and then on your rig that you just created, copying the rig ID and then placing it, of course, over into the miner. And then it will request the password, which is the one you created earlier. You can also find this on your rigs list as well. And once you've configured your rig ID and password on your miner, you can come back to the web GUI to go ahead and monitor the rest of your stuff. Immediately when you log in, if you have a wallet attached to that miner, then it's going to start running. If you want to make sure it's running on the rig side, you can just type miner. Or once you get back to the web GUI, you can actually just monitor everything from here. On the rigs list, if you click the rig you want to control, you will have all of the settings in front of you that you will need, including the local IP address, which is what we're going to be looking for. And you can also get into shell in a box, which will open up essentially a putty session, a command line session in the browser, or VNC. I have VNC installed already, and this is actually a great option and is the benefit to having a GUI. So if you open VNC, and I'll leave a link for VNC in the description below, you are just going to type in your IP address for the miner and then click connect. You can say, don't warn me about this computer again and click connect again. And now this is what you are presented with, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, this won't actually be up here. Um, you can open the NVIDIA control panel though by clicking down here and then opening you know, your NVIDIA settings. And it'll open this up and you can see everything that's running. You can check all of the status of all of the GPUs in the system, etc. And I am running into an issue with one of the GPUs overheating here. The EVGA, yeah. That EVGA GTX 1063 gigabyte that did not get great reviews in my mining review video. And I'll link that up in the corner. Alrighty, so that's going to wrap up installing and configuring Hive OS for your mining rig. I think it's a fantastic option and we kind of covered all of the, you know, negatives and positives, pros and cons compared to Simple Mining OS. If you're running Vega or you find that there's another reason you would prefer to use Simple Mining OS, you can go ahead and click up here in the uh, exclamation point and take you on over to that video and you can go ahead and learn how to do SMOS. Definitely go watch the video either way if you haven't yet and you're trying to find the best option for you know your mining rig operating system and I also have a Windows 10 one so we're covering all of the options. If you find another option that you think it should be covered. I am always open to that and will probably cover it. Just send me over an email at blindrun at sonofatech.com or head on over to our Discord and I'll leave a link to the Discord in the description below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next Tuesday.